r slash ask reddit how do we save this ducking planet 1 completely overhaul agriculture as it stands our agriculture system relies heavily on supplementing soil with nitrogen potassium and phosphorus primarily with many other trace minerals supplemented as a secondary pass this process destroys the rhizosphere, which is where the microbial life which plants depend on live. As this region of the earth is destroyed, soil becomes dusty, dry, and washes away easily. The lost topsoil then flows into the ocean where it causes large algae blooms which then become dead zones where nothing can live. This destroys plankton which are the primary producers of oxygen on the planet. By enhancing and feeding microbial life in the soil and treating soil as the foundation of farming, we can get a greater yield without the topsoil loss and rhizospheric holocaust. Many regenerative agriculture and no-till farms are proving this, and many other natural farming methods are supplementing these methods with ways to increase yields further in a sustainable way. These methods also fix carbon, which goes a long way to reversing the emissions problem we've landed ourselves in. 2. Eliminate any non-recyclable single-use packaging or product. We're aware of the alternatives. Hemp makes better plastic which is biodegradable. We can easily start there, and the process of planting hemp instead of commercial soy and corn would go a long way to fixing the soil, as hemp naturally fixes large amounts of carbon in the soil with its net-like roots. There's no reason other than greed and addiction to the status quo that this isn't happening. Any current plastic producer can easily be retrofit to produce plastic with hemp instead of petrochemicals. 3. Make a World War II style push to seriously address energy production. Thorium salt based nuclear reactors. Fusion research. Geothermal. Micro hydro vortex generating turbines. Tidal energy. Wind energy. Solar energy in that order. We also need to research and establish safer, more sustainable ways to store our energy. This problem isn't discussed as often, but lithium is an unsustainable way to store energy. We need to, ideally, come up with a method that utilizes carbon and hydrogen to capture and store energy as efficiently as possible. Foreclose any waste loops, from toilets to nuclear waste. Methods must be established to convert waste to useful products as opposed to treating it as an afterthought. Nuclear waste can be turned into very effective batteries. Human waste can be turned into incredibly rich compost. These things must become the norm instead of the exception. 5. Utilize known and effective alternative building materials. Cob. Rammed earth. Adobe. Straw bale. Earth bag. Icrete and others must be used instead of traditional building materials. These materials are freely available, sustainable, and vastly reduce the amount of waste produced by building a house. Additional materials like hempcrete and mica bricks can be used to replace standard insulation and are vastly more effective. These materials all are more resistant to fire, earthquakes, and many other potential destructive forces than standard architecture is. These materials also have the potential to be utilized with 3D printing building robots. 6. Reduce protein intake. Increase sustainable protein production. This is related to the first point. And to be clear, this is not a rallying cry to tell everyone to be vegan. Our current methods for producing beef, pork, chicken, and fish are all deeply unsustainable. Factory livestock operations produce the pollution equivalent of a city on as little as an acre's worth of space. Cattle farmed in this way produce massive amounts of methane which contributes 15% of the atmospheric carbon. Fish are overfished to the point where the oceans may be devoid of fish by as soon as 2030. There are known effective alternatives to these methodologies. Alan Savory's ranching produces healthier cattle and dairy products while simultaneously regenerating prairie lands. Free-range chickens make excellent pest control on polyculture farms. Pigs make excellent manure and function as nature's garbage disposals. Aquaponics can sustainably grow salmon, trout, jade perch, tilapia, and a number of other fish while simultaneously growing crops in a density much higher than traditional agriculture. Many of these methods can't produce protein in quite the same density as our current standards, aside from aquaponics, which can do it much better. So our diets would need to change to incorporate less, or at least different, sources of animal protein, if safe. Farmed fish, which is by its nature devoid of mercury replaced burgers, we would be healthier, 
less fat, and increase the demand for sustainable alternatives. 7. Subsidize and incentivize birth control. The single most effective thing you can do to reduce the human burden placed on the planet is have one less child. By incentivizing birth control universally the universal aspect is critical. We can reduce the human population. If first world nations were half as populated as they are today, our waste output would plummet. If the entire world were less populated, the amount of human environmental intervention and manipulation would plummet. Rewilding the planet is an extremely effective method to reverse the damages we've caused to biodiversity, the atmosphere, and the rhizosphere. By incentivizing and subsidizing birth control, people would have financial incentives and zero barriers to reduce the amount of children they have. A gradual population reduction over the course of a few generations to half the world's current population would go a very far way toward reducing the burden we place on the planet. These incentives must be universal otherwise you get into eugenics territory, which is no good. The planet is fine. The people are ducked. Semicolon George Carlin. It's been around long before us, and will be around long after us. This is my only solace as an environmental engineer. Still bummed about the plants and animals we're taking down with us though. Stop voting for people who don't believe in science. Good luck. Anti-intellectualism is rampant as of now. Not just in the US, but in Europe just as well. Serious answer. The only real hope we have is for people in China, India, Russia, United States and Brazil to vote for people who care about the environment and for everyone to reduce as much as they can the use of plastics. But even then we might be too late. China and vote. Ironic. Because of this. Save the planet. Protect the environment. People. Yes. Okay. Okay. We are going to have to adjust our lifestyles. People. Comma. We. As a species will survive. The we are ducked notion is absurd. Millions. Primarily in the third world will die. But things will get worse. Because people won't give up flying around the world. Massive meat consumption, absurdly inefficient vehicles and all the other things the individual can do to help. Start with promoting the idea that using birth control is okay. And that choosing not to have children is okay. Serious answer, we need to make improvements for the future. If the sea levels will rise, build dams and dikes to save the coastline. If the farmland shrinks focus on higher yield crops. If the water will be in poor condition, create new filters and filtration methods. Nothing is hopeless, we just have more challenges. But these are reactionary measures. After a while, that won't work anymore. Also the cost of doing something big now to stop or at least slow climate change before we reach the major forecast turning points will be less than doing a lot of small things to react to them later. Dismantle the fossil fuel industry instead of blaming rising temperatures on the moral failing of the commoners. Stop eating beef, dairy, and other animal agriculture products. This by itself isn't enough, but is likely to be one of the most significant easy changes any individual can make. We need to stop being passive bystanders and actually participate in government. If the government is not serving the will of its constituents it needs to be replaced. First of all, you need to be nicer to it and stop insulting it by calling it a ducking planet. But it ducks. Capitalism has to end. Never ending production and consumption for the pursuit of profits will destroy the planet, and the people benefiting most will be affected the least. First of all put out that fire in the Amazon. Going plant based vegan is the single most effective thing an individual can do to reduce their environmental impact. But people don't like being told things that involve them actually having to do something or change something themselves. So I'm going to go with by sending thoughts and prayers. I think we need to stop the rhetoric. Saying things like save the planet. Global warming is bad. Save the rainforest are actually more harmful than good. Instead. We should be looking at specific actions that need to be taken with its intended consequences. Banning neonicotinoids because they are directly leading to a die-off of insects that are vital to our food supply. If we create global to-do items that are specific, have impact, and are logically achievable, we can actually action them. Many of the solutions are already there. Solar has now taken over from fossil fuels. Pension and other funds are beginning to insist on factoring in climate change. 
China is beginning to invest more in ecological development. Europe is committing more and there are many American cities that refuse to give up in the face of the current national policy. One growing area to study is biomimetics. Traditionally science and technology develop new products and inventions from scientific principles but many scientists are now looking to the natural world for ideas which can quickly bring greater economies and efficiencies. Nature has spent millennia evolving better and better systems and we can evolve things faster ourselves by copying them. The real problem is probably not finding solutions. There already are solutions. The real problem is wealthy individuals, corporations and businesses, and governments that through force of habit, profit, ignorance complacency have no desire to change. At some point they will have to wake up and that is already happening to some degree. Some CS of corporations are banding together to try and change the corporation culture which only accepts short term profit at all cost. It might well take a large natural disaster to take place before there is a fundamental shift in attitude. But once that has been achieved change and innovation can occur very quickly. A near example would be committing to war. For example, where entire industries can change in a few months. Populations mobilized etc. Destroy all humans. Recycle. Use less plastic. Protect natural habitats. Use solar hydro, and nuclear power, and plant more trees also stop doing shit obese, we need them to pollinate flowers and plants, even if we didn't need them to pollinate, we should stop doing shot bees. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price. Re